It's Adam here for PC Monitors and today I'm going to be taking a look at the OSD on-screen display menu system of the ViewSonic VX2475 SMHL 4K. The OSD is controlled by tactile buttons at the bottom of the monitor and they're placed behind this uh, little plastic lip here. It's quite an awkward button placement. Um, actually that's a bit of an understatement. It's very awkward button placement and some of the uh, reviewers and other people that I've got to use this monitor, the OSD control system, find it not just awkward to use but actually slightly painful. So really bad design here. Um, you can actually see for the sake of this video I've got the monitor a fair bit further forward on my desk than I'd usually have it so I can actually access these controls um, a bit more easily. And uh, to make matters worse, the um, the label the labeling system on the um, in the OSD and the little button labels sort of ingrained onto the the bezel itself they're quite poor. Um, you can see a little number two there. Um, there's a down arrow, an up arrow, number one, and the power button. If you press two on its own, the first button. The monitor just sort of seems to turn itself off and you wonder what on earth that's doing. Um, it's actually a source select button, it doesn't tell you that, it's just a little number two. There's nothing on screen to tell you that's what it's doing, so it's um, a, bit, a bit confusing if you don't know what it does. Um, the next button along is the down arrow. If you press that on its own, it allows you to access the blue light filter of the monitor. Um, this is a low blue light setting which reduces the uh, blue colour uh, channel by a certain amount. Um, it's explored in the review so I'm not going to go through that again. Next there's, I was going to press this here, it's actually the power LED, um, not a button. It's just a little blue LED which indicates the power state of the monitor. When the monitor's switched on that glows um, quite a dark blue and it's also reflected um, at the bottom of the lip there, which you can see from a bit higher up. The next button along is actually the up arrow, just to the right of that LED. And again, that LED, it makes the using the buttons a little bit more awkward as well. I keep pressing that by accident, um, which is a bit annoying. But if you press the up arrow on its own, it takes you onto the manual image adjust, which are the key presets of the monitor, and you can select one of those as standard, game, movie, web, text and mono and I explore some of them in the review. And you can also see, um, actually I'll come on to this a little bit later um, when, I, when I go into the main menu system. Um, There's just another complaint I had about the menu but uh, I'll, I'll get on to that a little bit later. The next button along there, 1, why on earth 1 comes after 2? I have absolutely no idea, but anyway, 1. If you press that, it actually goes on to the main menu system. Um, and it says there, 1, exit, and 2, select. Which is a bit confusing, because 1, exit, that button is actually on the right here. That's number 1. And 2, select, that button is actually on the left which doesn't correspond to what the menu is telling you very well. So it's uh, again, it's just it's just awkward and it's a really badly thought out menu system. Um, I'm going to try and stop complaining about that now and actually show you some of the, uh, the features. Um, I'm just going to try and increase the OSD timeout period if I can because it seems to be um, disappearing rather quickly and that's not good for this video. And as you'll see when I'm going through this, um, I often press the wrong button because I just find it so unintuitive, this whole menu system. Um, so just bear with me. So I'm just going to increase the OSD timeout period from 15 seconds to something a bit, a bit higher. Um, I might as well, since I'm here, go through this. You can set it to 5 seconds if you want, if you're very quick with the menu system. Uh, unlike me, oops. Um, then again, I've, I've gone and pressed the wrong button. I pressed the source select button by accident, which is uh, not helpful. So, as I was saying, the OSD timeout can be set between five seconds and 
I'm really struggling here. 15 seconds, 30 seconds or 60 seconds. I'm just keep, going to keep that to 60 and try and go through the uh, rest of the OSD in order. The, there's a contrast slash brightness feature which does exactly what it says on the tin, allows you to adjust the contrast and brightness of the screen. Input select, which again does exactly what it says, allows you to select the input used by the monitor. There's NHL, HDMI or DisplayPort. There's audio adjust, and that allows you to change the um, volume of the integrated speakers or something you've got connected to the 3.5mm headphone jack. Um, also mute the sound source as well. There's a colour adjust menu and that allows you to choose um, what can be thought of as kind of presets of sorts, colour presets. Um, if you select the user colour mode, which I use for my test settings in the review, that actually allows you to manually change the red, green and blue colour channels. There's an information section and that shows you some basic information such as the resolution, the frequency that the monitor is running at, which is uh, 60 Hz, it says 60.3 but for all intents and purposes it's 60 Hz, the pixel clock used by the monitor, the model number, um, I'm not sure what VS16024, it must be some code for something that ViewSonic uses because this is obviously a VX2475 blah 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 and the serial number as well as a reminder of ViewSonic's website in case you couldn't work out that it was ViewSonic.com or didn't know how to use a search engine. Next there's manual image adjust and that allows you to access certain features um, Certain presets are, uh, they lock out certain features, so there's only a sharpness control in certain um, presets. Um, I'm not sure exactly why that's not available to me at the moment, because I think... Um, I'm just going to check what view mode it's set, because that's the, that's the main preset. Um, on this monitor and you can see I'm struggling again with these controls I absolutely hate them I think we've established that I absolutely hate them and I'm completely useless at navigating through the OSD of this monitor and I do apologize for that so I guess if you change the view mode to, to game um, or something like that perhaps you can adjust the sharpness anyway it's it's not a really an issue it, the, the sharpness is set optimally by default there's actually no reason to change that um, you can activate the dynamic contrast feature, which is looked at in the review. You can adjust the response time setting, which is also looked at in the review. There's a standard ultra, um, sorry, standard advanced or ultra fast. There's an overscan feature if you've got the monitor connected to a, a sort of older games console or something like that, which uses overscan or wants the screen to be using overscan. You can enable an eco mode. And this basically just um, changes the brightness level of the monitor to a certain preset value. Um, you can just do this by adjusting the brightness control manually if you prefer. So I haven't really played with this before. Optimize seems to be a bit dimmer than my test settings, so it's fairly fairly dim. Um, and conserve, which is dimmer again. There are the view modes, which I've gone through already. And now the, the you know the, the main presets of the monitor, and the blue light filter, which I've also looked at already. Next, there is setup menu, and that allows you to change the language used by the OSD. There are various options there. There's a resolution notice, which is enabled by default, and that just tells you when the monitor is not running in its native resolution and it tells you that it isn't optimal to run it at a non-native resolution which is correct um, but you can uncheck that uh, that box if you 
want to disable that. And actually, once the notification pops up, it also says, I think it's press 1 or press 2 to disable the notification, so it's uh, not too annoying. You can change the position of the OSD on the screen. You can change the timeout period, which I've looked at already. Um, OSD background, I'm guessing this is some sort of transparency effect. Yep, so you can have it uh, transparent or, or not, depending on your preferences. Auto power off, that means that when the monitor's been on uh, in standby for a certain amount of time, it'll turn itself off um, as if you've pressed the power button. Power indicator, so if you don't happen to like that uh, blue LED, um, again from a normal viewing position you can only really see the reflection at the bottom there, so it's not a big issue, but if you do want to you can actually turn it off when the monitor's on instead. And you can also enable or disable DisplayPort 1.2 functionality. Um, and that's just a that's just a feature which it allows you um, to connect to a DisplayPort 1.1 GPU if it doesn't support DisplayPort 1.2 and, and, and can still actually use the monitor, but you will be limited to 30 hertz at the native UHD resolution if you do that. Finally, there's memory recall, and that just resets everything to the factory defaults. So that's that's all there is to the OSD system. You can see there are some pretty useful features there. I mean, there are all the sort of main features you'd, you'd like are there. Um, well, not, not all of them, but you know, there are, there are plenty of decent features. It's just a shame that the system itself is so awkward, the button placement's awkward, the labelling's really poor. Um, but, you know, don't that doesn't detract from the monitor itself. Um, so, you know, don't don't watch this video and think it's it's a bad monitor because the OSD's bad. I mean, once you've got everything set up, you don't really have to go into the OSD too much, so it's it's not a big issue. Um, and be sure to check out the full review on pcmonitor.info for more about the monitor itself.